वेलकम टू मैथ्स वन टू थ्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल सॉल्व दिस पार्ट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सो लेट मी राइट दिस हियर दिस पार्ट इज टू माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई टू माइनस एक्स सो दिस टू आई कैन राइट एज टू डिवाइड बाई वन सो नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज आई हैव टू टेक द एल सी एम ऑफ वन एंड टू माइनस एक्स द एल सी एम ऑफ वन एंड टू माइनस एक्स इज टू माइनस एक्स सो लेट मी राइट दिस टू माइनस एक्स हेयर टू माइनस एक्स सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वी हैव टू डिवाइड टू माइनस एक्स विद वन विल गेट दिस टू माइनस एक्स सो देन वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू विद टू माइनस एक्स तो सिमिलरली हेयर ऑल्सो इफ आई डिवाइड टू माइनस एक्स विद टू माइनस एक्स आई विल गेट वन देन हेयर आई हैव वन सो वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई वन सो आई गेट दिस टू विल गेट मल्टीप्लाई विद टू आई गेट फोर देन दिस टू अगेन विल मल्टीप्लाई विद एक्स आई गेट नेगेटिव टू एक्स सो दिस वन इन टू वन इज वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू माइनस एक्स सो आई गेट हेयर फोर माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू माइनस एक्स नाउ आई पुट दिस वैल्यू हेयर सो दिस विल बिकम दिस इक्वेशन विल बिकम एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई थ्री माइनस टू एक्स डिवाइड बाई टू माइनस एक्स नाउ सी दिस पार्ट ऑफ माई इक्वेशन आई कैन राइट दिस पार्ट एज वन डिवाइड बाई थ्री माइनस 2x divided by 2 minus x. So here, 2 minus x will go up. So I'll get 1 into 2 minus x divided by 3 minus 2x. So which is equal to 2 minus x divided by 3 minus 2x. I'll put this value here. So I'll get x is equal to 1 divided by 2 minus. 2 minus x divided by 3 minus 2 x. So next, I will solve this part first. Let me write this separately. This 2 divided by 1 minus 2 minus x divided by 3 minus 2 x. Again, we have to take the LCM of 1 and 3 minus 2 x. So LCM is equal to 3 minus 2 x. So I'll get 3 minus 2 x here. Oh, next step is I have to multiply this two with three minus two x. So here it will become I have to multiply one with two minus x. So I'll get here. This will get multiplied with the three. I'll get six minus two multiplied by two x. I'll get four x minus one multiplied by with two is negative two. And this minus here we have minus. This will become plus. x divided by three minus two x. So I'll get here six minus two is equal to four minus negative four x plus x, which is equal to negative three x divided by three minus two x. Now I'll put this value here in my equation. So I'll get x is equal to one divided by four minus three x divided by three minus two x. So next step is. That will take this three minus two x up. So I will, so I'll get x is equal to three minus two x into one divided by four minus three x. So I'll get here three minus two x divided by four minus three x. So next step here, this is x divided by one is equal to three minus two x divided by four minus three x. Now I will cross multiply. So I'll get here x into four minus three x, one into three minus two x. So I'll get this x will multiply with four. I'll get four x minus this x will multiply with three x. So I'll get three x square. Similarly here, if I multiply anything with one, I'll get same. So here I'll get three minus two x. So next step. I'll take all these four x and negative three x square to right hand side of my equation. So I'll get here zero is equal to three minus two x as it is. This will become negative four x, and here we have negative sign, so this will become three x square. 
So this will become 0 is equal to 3 minus 2x minus 4x which is equal to 6x plus 3x square. Now I can divide this equation with 3. So I will get 0, 1 minus negative 2x plus x square. So I can write this equation as x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is my quadratic equation. So I will use midterm split method to solve this equation. So I will split this negative 2x in such a way that these two numbers will get negative get 1 and when we add these two numbers we will get negative 2. So these two numbers are negative 1 and negative 1. So I can write this as x square minus x minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So I will take these two together from here x is common I will take x out so inside I will be left with x minus 1 and from these two I will get negative 1 out so inside I will be left with x minus 1 is equal to 0. And this x minus 1 is common in both the terms so I will take this out x minus 1 so inside I will be left with x and negative 1 is equal to 0. So two values of x are 1 and 1 I have two same values of x. If you like the video please give thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and hit the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.